So I'm Toby Coates, I'm from the Royal Adelaide Hospital and we're working with a very novel skin, artificial skin product which is capable of supporting islet cells uh, as a novel place to transplant the cells. As you probably know, islet transplantation is a fantastic treatment for people with type 1 diabetes with hypoglycemic unawareness, but currently we're putting the islets actually into the liver and putting the islets into the liver is a pretty bad place because the liver's got a lot of quite a toxic environment, you can't monitor the cells and you can't get them out if something goes wrong. So what we've been exploring uh, with um, a company called Beta Cell Technologies uh, is a biodegradable temporizing matrix. And what that is, is an artificial polymer that sits in the skin into which we can uh, infuse uh, islet cells. So we're going to start a clinical trial on this uh, and it's going to start in Q1 uh, of next year. Uh, the patients that will be eligible for this uh, are a very special group. They're patients who've already got kidney transplants and so they're immunosuppressed because with this treatment we're still going to need to suppress the immune system to prevent rejection. The data that we've got uh, in, our, in our models of, is very good. It looks like the cells survive very, very well. And so what we're hoping to do is to test this site in a group of patients next year. I guess the advantage for this going forward would be that if this site actually works, and we think it will work, then uh, newer cells that are coming along, such as uh, stem cell derived islets or uh, xenogenac, that's pig cell derived islets, could be implanted under the skin instead of in the liver. We would hope if we achieve that, that there would be less loss of cells. The cells would be imageable and potentially removable if you needed them. But not only that, but then you could come back and potentially top up the site in the future uh, if you needed to have a, a further transplant. So there's lots of reasons why this technology is uh, promising. It's all been developed in Australia uh, and it's something that we're very excited about. And we are genuinely very interested in people who've had type 1, who've had a kidney transplant, who are immunosuppressed, um, who still have type 1 who might potentially be interested in this JDRF supported study that will be starting next year.